Hi there, Marius here with the Resuscitation Coach. On this channel we do all things resuscitation, so please consider subscribing. In today's video we'll be discussing adenosine, so let's jump straight in. Here we go! Adenosine is a very interesting medication regularly used in our American Heart Association guidelines for ACLS and pulse management of tachycardias. In this video, we'll be discussing the mechanism of action, indications, dosages, precautions, contraindications, and the side effects of adenosine. Adenosine is a naturally occurring organic compound and an endogenous purine nucleoside. When given as an antiarrhythmic, it slows the AV node conduction and interrupts re-entrant AV pathways, thus often terminating supraventricular tachycardias as a chemical cardioverter. Adenosine is a class 5 antiarrhythmic. Adenosine is the first drug for most forms of stable, narrow complex supraventricular tachycardia or SVT and is effective in terminating those due to re-entry involving the AV node or sinus node. We may consider it for unstable narrow complex re-entry tachycardias while preparing for cardioversion. It can also be used for regular and monomorphic Y-complex tachycardia for to be or previously defined to be re-entry SVT. It can be used as a diagnostic maneuver for stable and narrow complex SVT. Also keep in mind that adenosine does not convert atrial fibrillation, atrial flutter or ventricular tachycardia unless it's a ventricular tract outflow VT. Let's look at the adult dosage of adenosine. It's given as a rapid push initial bolus of 6 mg given over 1 to 3 seconds followed by a 20 ml normal saline flush. A second dose of 12 mg can be given in 1 to 2 minutes if needed. Don't forget that the half-life of adenosine is very short, about 10 seconds. So we need to be very quick in administering the adenosine for it to be effective. Ensure to record a rhythm strip before, during and after the administration of adenosine. Place the patient in a mild reverse Trendelenburg position before administration of the drug. Please remember, explain to your patient what is going to happen during the administration of adenosine. Think about it like this. Your heart rate is doing 180 and you can feel the heart bouncing in your chest and suddenly adenosine is given and your heart rate goes from 180 to zero in a second. The first thing that your patient will be thinking is that my heart just stopped and I'm going to die. Communicate clearly to your patient. Draw up the adenosine dose in one syringe and a 20 ml flush in another. Attach both syringes to the same or immediately adjacent IV injection ports nearest to the patient. With adenosine closest to the patient, clamp the IV tubing above the injection port and push the IV adenosine as quickly as possible, usually in one to three seconds, while maintaining pressure on the adenosine plunger, push the normal saline flush as rapidly as possible after the adenosine. Unclamp the IV tubing and don't forget, elevate the patient's arm. For pediatric administration of adenosine, the first dose is 0.1 mg per kilogram. Rapid push to a maximum dose of 6 mg, which does not exceed the maximum first dose of adults. Your second dose can be given in one to two minutes after the first 
if the first dose did not work and your dose is 0 0.2 milligrams per kilogram rapid push to a maximum dose of 12 milligram. Always follow the pediatric doses with a rapid 5 to 10 mils of normal saline flush. Ensure to run a rhythm strip before, during and after the adenosine administration. Adenosine is contraindicated in poison or drug-induced tachycardia or second and third degree heart blocks. It's also less effective and larger doses may be required in patients taking theophyllin or caffeine. Reduce the initial dose to 3 mg in patients receiving dipyridomol or carbamazepine in heart transport patients or if given by a central venous axis if administered for irregular polymorphic white complex tachycardia like VT it may cause deterioration including hypotension the transient side effects of adenosine includes flushing chest pain or tightness nausea vomiting headache lightheadedness dizziness and hypertension basically the patient is not going to feel well during the administration of adenosine and again clearly communicate this with your patient in advance brief periods of asystole or bradycardia and ventricular ectopy might occur after adenosine administration ensure to be ready to initiate cpr if cardiac arrest occurs if you benefited from this video kindly like subscribe and smash that notification bell and please don't forget to leave a comment down below it really helps our channel have a fantastic day we'll see you in our next video